so you might notice that these guinea pigs look different than the guinea pigs I have posted or videoed before and that is because they are new additions to our house um, <clears throat> these two little guys have been at our local humane society for several months I've been kind of watching them there they are um, a little older almost four years old according to the shelter um, and unfortunately because of of their age and because there are have been a lot of babies at the baby guinea pigs at the shelter there has not been any interest in these two little guys um, who are just adorable and sweet <clears throat> so last well a couple of weeks ago actually um, it was my birthday and my husband asked me what I wanted for my birthday and I said I would um, like to just go pay the adoption fee on these two little guys in the hopes that um, maybe if the fee was already sponsored, they might get a little bit more interest. Uh, but they've still been there, um, and we checked in with the shelter, and the shelter said that there has been absolutely zero interest. Not a single person has come to check in on these guys or see about adopting them. And that just makes me really sad because they are they are just adorable and super sweet. So I came home yesterday and my husband had gone and picked them up from the shelter for me um, because he knew that it had been um, kind of making me upset to think that, uh, you know, it didn't look like they were going to be getting a forever home. So he brought them home and I was kind of surprised when I came home from work, but in a good way. Um, this is the cage that the shelter sent them home with. Um, this is not the cage they'll be staying in. I don't um, use this particular kind of cage and I use fleece for my guinea pigs instead of um, this type of bedding. So um, I wanted to just shoot a little video to show where they're at um, and then I'm going to uh, work on expanding the cage that I have today um, so that we can fit um, our new little friends in. Uh, the black one's name is Tyrion. Um, the little fuzzy brown lion guy is um, as yet unnamed. I told my husband he could pick his name since he went and picked them up for me. <clears throat> so far they seem really healthy. Um, they have great appetites. They're very excited about hay. Um, very excited about fresh vegetables. Um, the only thing that I can see that might be an issue is that it looks like they do have a little mange. Um, so as soon as the stores in our area, it's early morning right now, um, start opening, I'm going to run out to get them some ivermectin. Um, last night, uh, we gave them a nice, nice long warm baths and antifungal shampoo and clipped their nails, which were very long and crusted with nasty things. Um, and then we gave them a nice blow dry. And so they're all fluffy and happy this morning. I didn't want to overwhelm them too much last night. So uh, today I'm going to clean their ears and check their teeth and check them over a little bit more. Um, and then hopefully by the end of today, uh, we will have a cool CNC concoction um, so I can fit all four of my boys in the kitchen corner um, that I have allotted for them. So This is the CNC cage we have now. And this is the one I'm going to tear apart today and um, reassemble so that I have two appropriately sized cages for our new little friends. This cage, I'll show you actually started out as a, a dog kennel. It's a little bit bigger than two by three. Uh, and then basically I built um, a CNC addition with a couple levels. Certainly not fancy. Um, and my CNC cage building skills have come a long way. <laughs> Jasper's got zoomies this morning. Uh, since this first cage build I did, so I'm, since I'm working on it today, I'll probably rectify some of the things that irritate me about 
microplast cutting and tying skills. But, uh, you know, it's been roomy for the boys and it um, is definitely sturdy. Um, but I think that we can rearrange some things so that all four of the boys have have enough space. Um, at least in my head, that's how it looks. How it looks and as you know um, things don't always turn out in reality the way they do in your head so hopefully hopefully it will all work out for as well today So these guys seem to be settling in pretty well. They love parsley and they are moved into their new cage. And they're very sweet. They're very bonded to each other. They're doing a lot of cuddling up. Um, still don't have a name for the little brown guy yet, but that will come in time. They've had their ears cleaned, had their ivermectin. A little allergy medicine to help with their itchy skin and I have every confidence that uh, they'll be healing up soon and settling into their new environment. Very sweet. I'm very happy that they are joining our family.